Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, today, I want to be showing you guys the best class setup here for the AN-94, the brand new DLC weapon that just got added into Modern Warfare. We're going to keep this short, quick, simple, and sweet. So if you guys enjoy, slap a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new and uh, let's get into it. So right off the bat, I'm going to tell you guys that you have to treat this like the M4A1 because the recoil pattern and this gun functions very similar to that. So we're going to have a, a pretty similar class setup to that gun. So first thing we're going to be doing here is we're going to add in the monolithic suppressor because you basically don't want to use anything else. I mean, you can use some other stuff in here, but honestly, the monolithic is just your best suppressor you're ever going to use really in this game entirely for almost every weapon. And so uh, after that, next up, we're going to head over to the barrel section. We have a few different barrel sections here. We have, you know, the 333 millimeter, the 438, and then the AN-94 uh, Sela. But basically, you want to get as much damage range, bullet velocity, and recoil control as possible, much like you can use the Grenadier or the Corvus Custom Marksman on the M4. We're going to use the Factory X 438. Uh, this is just going to be your best option. Uh, decrease your mobility a little bit, but that's not really too much of a deal there. So next up here, we're going to go down to the underbarrel attachments. So we have quite a few of these, and much like I, like I said, we have to treat this like the M4A1. I really don't use much on it besides maybe, let's say, the Ranger Foregrip if I'm going to go ahead and play Warzone, or if I'm going to play multiplayer, I'm going to go ahead and use the Commando Foregrip because my setup doesn't change too much. So we're going to throw ahead on the, we're going to go ahead and throw on the Commando Foregrip. So we have three attachments right here. And next up, we're going to go over to the ammunition because this doesn't have the biggest round uh, magazine, and we need to extend this a little bit. So we have the 45 round and then the 60 round so both of these are going to decrease obviously your mobility and maybe your control just a little bit um, i personally i like the 60 round magazine just because i like having 60 rounds in my magazine so i'm going to go ahead and choose that if you guys think the control or the mobility is not as much worth it then go ahead and throw on the 45 but i would highly recommend running a an extended mag basically at all costs so here for our final attachment this is going to be where it gets a little bit more tricky so the iron sights on this gun really aren't all that great so, and you know, it's just kind of one of those things that you can treat this like an M4A1, and if you can deal with the iron sights, I'm taking up a little bit more of the screen, you can go ahead and throw on something, let's say, like the stippled grip tape. But if you don't really want to be like that, and you want to actually use something different to negate that, if you're playing multiplayer, I'd go ahead and throw on the GI Mini Reflex, honestly. The GI Mini Reflex is great, and then if you don't necessarily want to run that, then if you don't want to run the GI Mini Reflex, then you can go ahead and throw on something like, like let's say, the VLK 3.0 Optic. This is basically like your number one Warzone Optic. So honestly, that's for Warzone, and then the GME Reflex is for multiplayer. And if you don't want to run the Reflex, like I said, you can go ahead and run down, you know, for this. But this is going to be a top-tier AN-94 class set for you guys to use and absolutely dominate everything within multiplayer. And man, that magazine is fat. But that's all I got for you guys here within this video. If you liked it, drop a like, subscribe with those notifications turned on, comment down below, and uh, I'll be back here again with a new video very, very soon. Just on Triple Captain, I'll be Randy, and I'm out. Peace.